Hey everybody, Pete Kluzak here, Bass University TV. I'm here with my buddy, who I don't get to see enough of, but it's good to see you right I now. I know, man. Pete, it's <laughs> awesome to be able to hang out with you here. I, uh, we spent so many years traveling around the country, fishing, and uh, I always I always remember going to Lake Champlain, and, and there was Pete, and I'm like, oh boy, he's in the area, this isn't good. Oh my gosh, he's gonna jack him, he's gonna find everything here. But uh, it was always fun to, to yeah. fish fish with you and fish against you over the years. Well, it sure has. And you, you've done something special up at Champlain yourself. You've popped a bunch of wins up there. Uh, you know, it's and it's one of those things, like, people ask me, like, well, what's your secret? And I don't really know, to be honest with you, because two of the victories there, I, it was one of those completely had no idea, if no idea that I was going to win the tournament. Uh, it just developed throughout the tournament. Mm -hmm. And some things kind of went that way, and sometimes those are the best ones, you know? We talk about that exact thing. you just following the pattern, developing patterns is right, how you win. Right, yeah, a couple a couple things went my, my way, and I paid attention to a couple things that happened throughout the tournament. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, I need to expand on that. And look, fishing, especially at Lake Champlain, because a lot of times it's, it's, a, it's a mixture of spawning fish. It's a mixture of... Um, Sorry, my phone was ringing. It's a mixture of spawning fish. It's a mixture of largemouth. Mm -hmm. And depending on where you are on the lake, you know, it depends also what stage you're in. I mean, because you can go to certain parts of the lake and it's total post-spawn. Mm -hmm. You can go to others and it's pre-spawn or spawn. Yeah. So making the right game plan or chess moves throughout the tournament, really at that lake makes more of a difference than any other lake I've ever been to because it's like you can, you can, you can, Go get a large mouth. If you need a small mouth that's spawning, you go do this over here. If you, you know, the wind's blowing, you want to do some post spawn fishing, you're going to go over to the inland sea. So, so if you're if you're versed enough and well uh, it's, it's skilled enough, yeah. you kind of have a lot of options yeah. that all work good. So anyway. the option this year was to go to Ticonderoga. I know, and you know, <laughs> it's funny because years ago when I would go practice, I've always done well mid lake and north. And years ago when I would go practice, I'd go to Ty and I would say. I'm going to go to Ty one day and practice, and I don't want to catch him. I do not want to catch him <laughs> in Ty. Like, I literally launched a boat, fished like a half a day, and not even fish good stuff, just to get it out of my system. <laughs> and, and then I would put it back on the trailer, go back to the north end of the lake, and that's where I'd fish. Mm -hmm. and, I, and so this year, of course, everybody said, Ty could be a player. Ty could be. I'm not going. I'm not going to Ty. I'm not going this year. I'm not going next year. I'm not going the year after. <laughs> if they win it at Ty for the next three or four times we go there, then so be it. But I'm not going to Ty. It's just... I like dialing in my mid lake and yeah. north. I'm just gonna stick with that. Man, we, we and we do we fish that lake the same way, but those guys those guys called them down there this yeah. year. High rare, water. Rare that it happened. They got calm winds, yeah. they could make that run every day. High water, the spawn was a little behind schedule, so it really it really leaned itself pretty heavily on that bite down there. So well, well I, you're here today to teach us about something that's pretty cool. Because we're like we've seen these uh, flutter spoons. Right. Big deal, yep. right? Ledge fishing. A lot of guys, we, we um, on the recent Elite, Chris Aldane almost won it on a flutter spoon. Mm -hmm. um, Spoons are a big player. They're, they're a huge deal, and these are smaller size spoons that, that we're going to talk about today. And this is how I learned how to spoon fish right. with spoons like this. Yep. And, yep. and I'm excited for you to, to show us what you have here and, and how we're Well, how yeah, we're this, this, is, uh, th this is the live target. This is called the Flutter Shad. Uh, just your standard. This is one of the small ones here. This is a this is a basically a half ounce, uh, real small. They come all the way up to I believe this one here is an ounce and a half, and it's yes yeah, your standard spoons. But the lifelike paint jobs uh, on this spoon are amazing. Uh, you know it's not your just your standard slab of lead like mm -hmm. they have been in the past, and it has an exoskeleton right here which they call IC, ICT technology inner core technology. So this has a resin around this unbelievable paint job right there, but it allows this, this lip of this spoon, which is, you've never seen a spoon with a lip out that way. Normally that's not there on a spoon. No. That allows several things. It allows uh, a different flutter as it flutters down through the water. This, this, this exterior here is gonna grab the water and do some extra fluttering. Secondly, and what I'm excited about is it's Mike Iaconelli. This is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. And that's why it's you want to check Iaconelli. out Bash U TV. This Join is Bash, Bash U TV. Family. Here's Welcome what's awesome about Bash, Bash U TV. TV. You get the top instructors. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently.